God. It says from the testimony for the church, God will employ agencies that will surprise us for this love cry. And it tells us, it says to us, as children of God, what and how we ought to do and what we ought to do. The Lord will work in this last work in a manner that very much out of the common order of things. Do we believe that? And in a way that will be contrary to any human planning. There will be those amongst us who will always want to control the work of God, to dictate even what movement shall be made when the world goes forth under the direction of the angels who join the third angel in the message to the given to the world. God will use ways and means by which it will be seen that he is taking the right rein in his own hands. The workers will be surprised by the simple means that he will be used to bring about and perfect his work of righteousness. Let God be acknowledged as standing at the hem at all times and under every circumstances. My brothers and sisters, he will work by means that will be suitable and will maintain, increase, and build up his own people. Are you prepared for such a work? As the Lord cried, let us, my brothers and sisters, open our hearts and prepare our minds for this great work. The comforter is to reveal himself not in any specified, precise way that men may mark out, but in the order of God, in all and expected times and ways that will honor his own name. He will rise up from among the common people, men and women, to do his work. Even as of old in the call, he calls fishermen to his, as his disciples, there will be soon to be an awakening that will surprise many. Those who do not realize the necessity of what is to be done will be passed by. And the heavenly messengers will work with those who are called the common people fitting them to carry this truth to many places. Are you such a people prepared for the loud cry? Labor is qualified by the Spirit. We ought to open our hearts, my brothers and sisters, for the Spirit, the Holy Spirit of God, to work between us to give that loud cry. In the last similar, similar, similar work for great men will be engaged, God will work the work in our day that but few anticipate. He will rise up and exalt among us those who are taught rather than auctions of his spirit, taught by the auction of his spirit, than by the outward training of scientific institutions. These facilitators are not to be despised or condemned. They are ordained of God, but they can furnish only the external qualification. God will manifest that he is not depending on learned self-independent motives to, to souls that are earnestly seeking for light and that accept the gladness, every ray of divine illumination from his holy word, to such a Lord, light will be given. It is through these souls that God will reveal the light and power which will lighten the whole earth with his glory. There is a great work to be done, my brothers and sisters, and we ought to be 
in preparation for this great work, which is the love of God. And as Paul says in the Ephesian, family, my brethren, be strong in the Lord. I encourage you this morning, my brothers and sisters, to be strong in the Lord. Open our hearts, my brothers and sisters, to accept the Spirit. Be strong in the Lord and the power of His mind. Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. Because the devil is real. He is coming for us, my brothers and sisters, God's people. So let us prepare our hearts and minds. Let us continue striving and pressing on to the upper way and gain new kinds of everything that we will be able to stand prepared to give the loud cry. So when Jesus comes, we will hear, well done. Do we want to hear that song, my brothers and sisters? Yes. Yes? Yes? yes. Oh, yes. yes. oh, yes, we do want to hear that song. So we're going to stand at the start and sing, I'm pressing on the upper way. You handsome gaining every day. Still praying as I onward bound. We are asking the Lord this morning to plant our feet on high ground. Six, two, five. We're gonna start as we sing. <laughs> 